This brings us to very important question of why tax deviation is so low, why the revenue recovery is so low and why the revenue performance is so dry. The primary reason is weak primary data. There are three methods of getting primary data corrected with the ground reality. First is through the urban property assessor officer, the employees of municipal corporation and council. Second is from outsourcing survey vendor and third is from the complaint received from citizens about defaulters. Let us understand the challenges of urban property assessor. He is supposed to deal with six type of citizens. First one is honest and sincere citizens who respect the law and order, pay the taxes regularly and extend 100% cooperation to the government. Second is the businessman category who does alteration in the property for their commercial benefits. They are ready to pay the taxes, however, tries the option of settlement and jugad. Third is muscle strong people who talks only with hands and legs rather than mouth. Influential people who have very high power connectivity and with one phone call, they can change the personal dynamics of assessor officer properties of politicians and the last one is minority community where even our police officers cannot enter their area. More than 50% properties are covered by the last four categories and we also have exclude the slum area. If assessment officer tries to assess their properties then he may get abused, assaulted, hospitalized, transferred, have to face stone pelting faulty and fake allegations may get filed against him, he may have to worry about his family security. Kindly note that this assessment happens under three umbrella condition. First is the absence of primary data validation tool. It means there is no alternate way to validate the data registered from officer. Administrative project spearhead officers are continuously transferred and replacing one may not have the same idea or he may have a different thought. There is poor legal support and protection from the law and order for the assessment officers. Under this scenario, assessor has a choice to work sincerely and honestly, generate maximum revenue for government and go against all the defaulters by implying all the applicable rules and regulations. What is the result for officer? Stagnant salary, no incentives, limited financial gain. He creates lot of hidden enemies. He may get transferred to unwanted place. No real appreciation within the system and have to worry about his family security. In the second option, officer goes with the wave and does some adjustments with the defaulters. This creates the record manipulation and poor revenue for government. However, the results are astonishing for assessor. He becomes a key person in local dynamics. His social status increases. His respect in the workplace goes up. His contact network increases and there are fewer chances of he getting transferred. Second source is getting primary data corrected through outsource survey vendor. The survey contractor pays on-field survey resource around 15 to 35 rupees per property depending upon the list of survey parameters. To have a good income, the field surveyor need to focus to cover maximum number of properties per day. So they have two options, work sincerely, visit each and every house, try to get a maximum information about citizen, get the quality data as per the defined survey form, revisit the door lock properties and conduct proper resurvey. The result is limited properties are covered in a day. However, quality primary data gets created, generates very limited income after doing a hard working and taxing field job. They have to face criticism, anger of the defaulter and citizens from the last four categories. The semi-skilled surveyors are totally unprotected and vulnerable. If surveyor decides to go with the wave 
and perform the record adjustment with the defaulter then maximum surveys can be conducted per day he gets illegal income quality of the survey is pathetic the records are manipulated surveys are conducted without actual field visit and forced primary data gets created the field surveyor knows that validation of survey data by the resurvey through the other resource is too costly for his vendor results for field surveyor he makes decent income quick money in minimum efforts and easy life his social status goes up he comes in contact with influential people it looks to be good fortune for him he is discounted from the data responsibility as outsourcing vendor is responsible for the quality of the primary data here also the umbrella condition remains the same the last option of getting primary data corrected is through the complaints and the proof received from the citizens about defaulter this is one of the safest method as all the proofs are received by the assessor in the office he gets protected from the aggressive defaulter by proving that he is not the originator hence there is no threat no tension he can exercise the rule and regulation and collect the recash revenue from defaulter from this third option very little revenue gets registered maximum deviations goes unnoticed the performance of the municipal council declines dependability on the central funding increases however the situation in the city is very stable there is no public outcry no civil war like situation 360 degree data plugs the black hole of validating tool of the primary data 360 degree data uploads visible property details on the cloud based web server which can be viewed by any authorized officer sitting in a office without conducting any site visit it is equivalent of getting complete city in the office for validation of primary data the property validation referencing pointing out and marking becomes very easy and shareable the best advantage is it gives third party support to secure the front facing assessor officer from the defaulters they can always point out on the visible defaulted property data to recover the leakage revenue and convince the defaulter that visual data is government initiative with no local control the maximum work of analysis and comparison is performed from the remote office of third party vendor this remotely located office staff is not under influence of local defaulter hence the data infiltration and adjustment possibility is almost nil visible deviations are low hanging fruits before conducting any house to house survey it helps in conducting project monitoring comparison of temporal data auto data updating process can be defined with the semi literate and semi skilled officers urban officers can literally showcase the complete project to the central government to pull additional funding requirement the 360 degree solution brings transparency in the system and assures the revenue enhancement by plugging the revenue leakage